This is Angelina Jordan singing Fly Me to the Moon. And it says with Angelina Jordan and Tor Peterson. And it's from the website Yazik V. Tumain. And let's watch. Okay. There's Angelina. We stopped it here in a good spot. It's not bad. So, yeah, I don't know who Tor Peterson is. But, uh, you know, hey, he has a passable voice. <laughs> I hope he realizes uh, the honor he had to sing with Angelina. And uh, her voice, her in this song, you know, there's, there's, there's a several song. well, probably more than several that Angelina does, that she just owns. And this is one of them. She's really, uh, you know, Frank Sinatra's version version was a uh, classic. Uh, and Frank Sinatra was Frank Sinatra. Again, I'm not really, you know, it, it's so difficult. I don't want to compare uh, Frank Sinatra with Angelina Jordan. I don't want to do it. You know why? Different times, different eras, different everything else. Frank Sinatra was Frank Sinatra. He's always going to be Frank Sinatra. He's old blue eyes. He's, uh, what was he, the chairman of the board, I think they called him. And uh, he, he, he was, he was the, what would you call him? I think I would call him kind of like the, the leader of the, the, the crooner type singers, you know, one of the leaders. You know, Bing Crosby was in there. Uh, who I, you know, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, the Rat Pack, you know, they were all uh, crooner style singers. And I probably forgot a bunch, so forgive me for that. But I'm just off the top of my head. I'm just uh, stream of consciousness here talking. So, yeah, they, uh, you know, these guys had, uh, you know, great voices. And they were just, they had style and panache. <laughs> and they were known to be carousers out there, you know, drinking, smoking, all that stuff. Uh, up all night and that sort of thing. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, that was a particular t period of time, too, uh, in our country and everything else in the world, the events and all, so all sorts of things going on. So you take that. So Frank Sinatra, that's never going to happen again, that setting and that coming of that uh, crooner era. I mean, we have some crooners now. There's, a lot, you know, several of them. Michael Buble is one of them. Uh, kind of crooner type singers, and that's fine. You know, it, it's 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 really beautiful. It's almost you know, it's a genre by itself, right? So then you come to Angelina. Angelina. I mean, the smoothness, the silkiness, the softness, the you know, the the depth of her voice. You know, the maturity in her voice. It's all it's all it's extraordinary. 
Frank Sinatra was a guy. He was a, a mature adult man, and he sounded like a, a guy, a, a mature adult man, with a nice voice, you know, really nice voice. Um, Angelina's a little girl who sounds like she's been singing for three times longer than she's been even now walking the planet with the rest of us. So, you know, that, that it's just extraordinary how she, uh, how she is able to, uh, make that. And it's not, you almost can tell by looking at Angelina, it really isn't like it's, uh, tr trained into her necessarily. I'm sure maybe she's had a little bit of coaching and training here and there, but, we all like to say that Angelina is music, so it's in her to do this. It's part of her. It's who she is. It's like walking around breathing and all that. So that's the extraordinary part. Plus, you know, uh, Tor sings, you know, not bad, you know. It's got an accent and all that, which is kind of cool, actually. And then you come to Angelina, and it's just, you know, oh, uh, it's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. I want to listen to Angelina more, more, more. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just night, you know, for, for me, it's just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm biased. Okay. And I, I'm going to be biased too. Okay. You guys have a nice day. I thought you might like to see that little ditty. Um, some of you probably have seen it before. I think it's been out there for a bit, but, uh, I just came across it and I said, you know, let me watch that. Pretty good. Talk to you later guys. Bye-bye.